So guys, I uh, did a thing. It was cheap though, but I did a thing. I bought a box, and I got some stuff in it. And full disclaimer, I know literally nothing about what's in the box. So it should be fun unboxing it. Come on. So guys, according to the thumbnail, you already know what it is. This is my brand new TIG welding machine that I know absolutely nothing about. But we are going to learn. Together, you guys can help me not be such a noob. So let's crack this box open. Let's see what all comes in. I'll TIG welder, and then I'll tell you how much I paid for it. All right. Let's crack this bad boy open. Ooh, I am truly anxious to see how a cheap TIG welder looks and honestly, what all comes with it. All right, so this is what the box looked like and fresh out of the box, we got a couple things here. Let's see here, got our wire brush, bam. Wire it up, that was stupid. Okay, we got a mask, you know, because safety first, guys. I want to hold this when I need two hands. That, that makes no sense whatsoever. Also got a stick, because obviously with all TIG machines you can stick, but not all stick machines you can take. But you know, there it is. So, all right, let's, uh, anything else on the side? Okay, we've got everything required everything that is needed for the actual take torch so that's pretty awesome we'll crack that open in a little bit Let's see here a little handle okay the handle for this oh wow yeah that's oh yeah oh yeah safety third safety third so let's All right. uh, okay one two and that is broken. Oh wow. <laughs> that is that is broken. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, sure it is. Yeah, for whoever took care of the packaging, uh, they did a terrible job. Inverter, DC welder, can't weld aluminum, but it'll be okay. Got our ground, okay. I mean, it's not a it's not a terrible size, right? It's it's that's not a bad size. We can deal with that. Nice little spring tension on it. Okay. And oh, one of them made it. The other one didn't. We got a prize at the bottom. But we got one. So, let's go ahead and arrange all this stuff on the table and let's see what it all looks like. So like, look at the size of this TIG. Like it's, this is cute, okay? Like this is, this is really small. Like it, it's nothing crazy. That is wild to me, okay? Also runs off a of 110. Don't really need to wire it, but I can rewire this, I believe for 225. So one thing I do find weird that when you open up the instruction manual, it gives all the different ones. This is a TIG 165S. They don't show a TIG 165S. That's the weirdest thing. Why? I, I don't know. Okay? I don't know why that is. But you know what? We'll make it work. For the price of $145, I feel like I came up on a pretty good steal if I must say so myself. I must say so. Also, we've got our stick electrode holder. That's got a lot of little tension right there. But yeah, we got that right there. Again, 
safety mask because you know hey I need two hands to take well I guess you can stick with this I, I mean I don't I don't I don't know I don't know I already showed the rest of these tools and stuff like that so you know this doesn't look half bad on the front here of course we've got our connections for everything and this take torch this take torch you know I know there's better right don't get me wrong I know there's better but this isn't bad. Of course, there's no foot pedal with this. No foot pedal, but you've got this right here, which, okay, you got maxed out. You can kind of feather it, okay. And obviously, you know, you kind of set where you want this to be already, so that way you don't have to try to worry about feathering it. You can run it wide open at whatever amperage you set, and then if you need to in certain spots, you can kind of back off of it. I feel like that's pretty good. You got a dial here, a button here rather, that arc and TIG, you choose one, you will be stick welding. Next one, you will be TIG welding. That's pretty awesome, I feel good about that. Amperage, of course, right here. Quickly looking through this instruction manual, like, it's not bad, but it's not good at the same time. Like, it's, I, you know, I don't, I don't know, but you know, I guess it'll work. Of course, you got the earth connection, the ground connection, aviation plug, okay. We've also got our welding connection here, which has got a little little thing on top of it so nothing gets in there. Got your threads. And you got your electrode holder right here. So that's pretty cool. It does show you, you know, how to assemble your gun, but I don't know how good that still is. At this point, I'm actually, uh, kind of curious like what does it do when I turn it on honestly don't know if I'm supposed to turn it on like without having stuff on it but you know what the heck let's uh, let's give it a shot let's plug it up let's plug her in oh don't want to drop that kind of need that on Woohoo! look at that okay Look at that. Okay, you got your dial gauge here. Tells you how much amperage you're actually running. Okay, you can, if you play with it, it's not too sensitive. We can max it out at 169, and we can bring it all the way down to 11. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm rocking with that. Okay, that is cool. And when you flip the switch, same thing, still goes down to 11. That's pretty cool, you got a nice little fan in the back. Not the biggest fan, but okay. It does, it can be rewired for 110 or 220 on the back right here, that's what it says, I'm not lying. And also we got our barb for argon, which is something that I still need to get, and also ground right here as well. So that's that's pretty awesome. Like I got a few minutes. Like I'm gonna see if I got any um, any rod, and if I have any rod, I might hook it up and see what happens. I I, I truthfully don't know, but let's see. We'll power it down as well. Let me see what I got in the truck. Turn the machine on. Machine is on. Amperage. Start out pretty low.
Okay, we put a bead on. I think the amperage is also a little low, but uh, let's go ahead and clean it up. Let's see what the first super small pass of nothing but bubble gum. Let's see how that does. All right, let's see what we got here. Not the worst, actually. Could definitely be better because uh, I'm still struggling with starting it. But you know what? Let's take a couple more minutes. Let's figure out how we can get it started and then maybe we can keep this thing going. We're going to try about 70 amps and we're going to uh, scratch start it and see if we can make another bead. Alright, so that started to get something. So here it is guys, this is number one. This is the first, first one right here. And you see nothing there. You got a bunch of slack and crap here from trying to uh, start it. Nothing here, that's the first pass. Then the second pass started to be hit, hit and miss, trying to bring it down lower. Started, came too high, loaded down too high, brought it back lower. Then we got our third pass right here, starts to come together a little bit. And then this last one, which started to get too short the stick, so didn't really want it to continue. But now it's at least a continuous beat. So, obviously, no dimes here. That is not any dimes, but I see the progress from first, second, third, and fourth. So, we're gonna move on. So far, I'm proud, I'm happy with the machine. It does a wonderful job so far. Last time I used Rod was like, nine years ago, I don't know. So, haven't used it in a long time, but, I mean, honestly, $145, guys, $145, I feel really good about this, okay, full disclaimer, I feel great about this, everything doesn't feel cheap, like, this feels cheap, don't get me wrong, this also feels very cheap, they didn't spend much time, much time with anything, but for the most part, I feel really good about this. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can set up this torch with the supplied consumables, which clearly is nowhere near enough. Yes, I know I don't have any tungsten, which I ordered some. I will be picking that up from my job. But, again, like, I don't feel bad about this. We got a cup. And we got a, we'll call it holders. It's got the little slit in it right there. This is where your tungsten would go in through. Um, I ordered some uh, 1 16th. So let's see here. Complete noob here, okay. So that's obviously gonna go like that. The collet holder actually should have been up in there with the uh, back cap, okay. Okay, my two TIG welding videos, okay. Actually are paying off, okay, look at that. Look at that, oh, we laying it down, okay. So guys, as I said earlier, I have made plenty of poor choices as far as buying cheap stuff. So far, this one, 
not really feeling like it, okay? I did my little reviews on YouTube. It brought me to this, the Tape 165S, and we'll see how it does. I've never tagged anything before, and I haven't done a lot of welding recently in quite some time, some MIG welding rather. So, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna get this stuff, and maybe in a couple videos or so, I will be trying to learn. So if you guys have any suggestions, any YouTube videos that I need to watch, anything like that, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Tell me what your experiences are, if you've done it or not, if you wanna see me fail so you don't have to, different things like that. So the next thing for me is to get my welding cart, to get another mask, because I need a new mask. Obviously, this isn't gonna do anything in the other mask that I have. I don't even know where it is, but the last I saw that mask, it was like mushed together for some reason. How did I do that? I don't know. So, guys, in the comment section below, tell me what you think about this deal. For $145, I will put the link in the description. It was on eBay. There is also one on Amazon as well, but it costs more for the exact same thing with the exact same shipping that you can get from eBay. So, you know, choice is yours, whichever one you want to go with. Link will be in the description for both of them. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. This was a noob unboxing a machine that he has never done or used before. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace!